first rates monday morning brand new week and there you go the first rates 122 points higher for the nifty so we are now at 25000 almost like 40 points more and you will be at 25000 quarter of a century yeah <laughs> unimaginable isn't it budget elections everything is come and gone and we are stand standing tall the breath is the talking point once again one is to Eight advanced decline ratio, or eight is to one if I count in terms of advanced versus decline. Now let's start addressing the newsmakers. Lots of newsmakers, largely number dominated. Banks, ICICI Bank, Indian Bank, Bandhan Bank, the three banks. ICICI Bank numbers have been steady and consistent, and they're enjoying a premium. Indian Bank numbers were not that great, but yet it is holding on smartly. Bandhan Bank, look, nobody was expecting anything, but I think it's work in progress. It's a stock which has underperformed, but after the change of guard, will it continue to come up? Then you got Indigo, and then you got IDFC first bank. Indigo, why? Because uh, it was a study quarter, but the stock has run up. So when you have a stock which has the run up, which has seen an extraordinary run up, obviously things in a sense will be different. Thirty-seven points up for thirty-seven points left, and Nifty could be at quarter of a century. Can you imagine that? I mean, look at the narrative in the market. Look at where we stand. It is a brute force of liquidity where bulls cannot put a foot wrong. Let's see what I said. Say, bank is up to and how it's uh, reacting to its numbers. The fact that an NPA is uh, gross NPA is that is, were at a 10 quarter low of 2.15%. Two percent higher for ICICI Bank at a stock which is in any case quoting at its record highs, 1228 on ICICI Bank as we speak right now. Ultratech, the big newsmaker over the weekend, they're looking to acquire that near about 33 percent stake at 390 rupees per share in India Cements. Both those stocks holding up in the green as we speak. NTPC as well came out with its numbers. The average tariff have come in uh, of an uptick of about 3.3 percent. Strong operational performance for Dr. Reddy's as well. The US and India business have managed to drive growth for for them. So good numbers there for Bandhan Bank. The slippages have come down about 12.7 percent. Stock lower by about one percent as we speak right now. Interglobe Aviation, which was an inline said, a bit higher by four percent. Revenue uptick of 17 percent. That stock sharply in the red actually, three and a quarter percent lower as we speak right now. There's REC also, by the way. Which came out with its numbers. The NII has seen an uptick of 31 and a half percent. The NP ratio as well has uh, seen a bit of an improvement on a sequential basis. MCX2, and this was remember a high flyer all through last week, came out with its numbers. Revenue uptick of 29 and a half percent, a bit higher by 30 percent. Although a miss for Indusin Bank, the earnings are. Uh, Below what the street was anticipating for Power Grid, for IDFC uh, first, Spandana Spurti, Finolex as well, like we highlighted earlier, and SBI cards too, wherein the asset quality has seen a bit of a deterioration, uh, and the profits as well have come in lower, ten um, and a quarter percent on a sequential basis. Very quickly, then the big movers from Friday, and it was a big move on Shriram Finance, on the Divi's Lab, Sipla reacted to its number. So let's see whether the uh, you know the positive tilt on pharma is maintained or not. Looks a little bit tempered right now. Uh, Divi's though holding up in the green as we speak right now. But Kunal, what's it looking like? 50 points away from the Nifty. Uh, what stocks are you spotting? Yeah, I think it's a good start again. Uh, just about from where we left off on Friday, this is a very good uh, handover as well as a continuation move for the indices. Uh, in terms of the opening trade, so now I think with you know two of the sectors looking attractive, I would probably believe financial services also would make a strong comeback. So I think from that pocket, Bajaj Finance is something which I would highlight at current levels. The stock is uh, on the verge of a breakout of its 50-day moving average and could potentially break past about the 200 DMA as well. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.